You're probably thinking this shot looks creative, but what if I told you this shot is a story over multiple years? A couple years ago, Panther found the shot where you go off the roof and the side of the goal into a turtle air dribble. After he showed me these, I had a lot more ideas. One of them going downwards from the top of the goal. I've scored goals going into turtles, but those aren't interesting. I've always wanted to score this setup as it's one I've tried for such a long time. It's very hard to get the air dribble off this as it requires a lot more boost at an awkward angle too. So I had a genius idea. What if I can do a pogo back up into an air dribble? But there's two problems. Boost management and how do I do the setup? Boost management seemed possible but the setup especially in game didn't. Inspired from the Jaxi pop, when you pop the ball upwards, I thought what if I could do this into the setup? But there's one specific place in the back wall where the steeper the wall is, so I can do the pinch into the air dribble. Like I pinch it on the back wall where the wall is the steepest point. This works, but there's one problem with it. It was complete luck on the setup if I got it or not. But in this setup you could have zero boost, making boost management a lot more possible for the actual shot. After training musty flicks and long air dribbles, I finally got some great attempts in casual. I'm now going to give you a quick rundown of how I do the shot. Using the back wall right next to the goal, drive with the ball very slowly into the wall. If you're lucky, this will pinch the ball upwards. It's completely RNG if the bench is actually any good or not, so just be aware of that. Then you want to drive up next to the ball without taking your hands off accelerate and power slide a tiny bit downwards below the top of the goal. This would give you more speed into the pogo, making you get a higher like pogo to the ball sooner. This means you can have better boost management. But again, the pogo is kind of complete luck but make sure you don't break on the wall or hold off accelerate because this gives you momentum for the pogo. You then want to position your car for the pogo. This is another RNG as you either have a good pogo where you don't waste any boost at all or you have a bad pogo where it doesn't pop you forwards and this makes it impossible to have boost management for the shots. After you get lucky twice in a row then you still have to do a full field air dribble with very good boost management. After this you need a very good, extremely good musty whilst basically being on the floor with good cam work. So in summary I wouldn't try this shot. And you do really need a good musty.